Hello everybody, and welcome to my next Let's Play. Can you take a guess of what it is, just by the text? It's already come up on the screen that obviously says the name down in the bottom left corner right there. Yeah, or by the title for that matter of fact. We're going to be doing God of War, the original God of War, by the way. If anybody doesn't really know, this is one of my favorite games. One of my top ten favorite games, not top five, but... Definitely like Uncharted 2, one of my top 10. Um, it's not my top 5, but you know, like I said, the original God of War is probably one of the best games I played in general. Uh, especially back in the day, back in 2005 when it, when it was released, but I got it like a year after, I believe. And so, we're going to probably take on, let's just do, mm, let's do Spartan for the sake of just doing it. So, make it kind of funny. See if I die a lot. Which I probably will. I can't do God mode because I have to unlock it first. But you hear you have Mortal, you have Hero, Spartan, and God. But this is one of the hack and slash. Definitely a hack and slash you should play if you're a hack and slash fan. And without further ado, let's just get right on into it, Jelly. The gods of Olympus have abandoned. No hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. But it had not always been this way. Kratos had once been a champion of the gods. Oh, beast! I will send you back to the depths of Hades! Alright, so here we go. Jumping right on in to God of War. This is three weeks earlier before the previous event that we just seen from the cutscene here. And we are taking on undead soldiers on the Agency. Or Agency. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. This is all Greek to me. Huh. Get it? Because, you know, Greek. Yeah. Well, anyway, with these undead soldiers right here, one thing to do is press circle and then press square to throw them. I recommend doing this right now just because of the fact of just getting wars. You want orbs in this game. These red orbs are spawning from the enemies. You want them. Take them as much as you can, especially when you're on God Mode. Now, you can upgrade everything on God Mode. I don't know why people think you can't. It's stupid how people think that. You know, it's just... I, I, I was watching somebody I you know I usually watch, and it was saying that, uh, well, you know, God of War... Like, the, the vast majority of God of War, you can't upgrade everything on the hardest difficulty. That's crap, because... I can, and I will show you guys. I'm now playing the hardest difficulty. I'm doing hard mode, as you guys seen earlier. But, other than that, yeah. These are health chests. If you see green orbs, they give you health back. You can see the health bar in the top left corner. Also, we have a red bar in the top left corner as well, whenever we seem to collect, uh, well, you know, that stuff. Oh, look, I lost no health, and I actually got a trophy for that. Nice. I am playing this on my actual... Turd Monkey account, just for trophies to show you guys what I can and cannot do. Maybe I'll get the Jason, uh, the Speed of Jason McDonald trophy too. I don't know, we'll find out. But yeah, this is definitely, oh my god, just a great game. And if you're a Hack and Slash fan, like if you play Ninja Guide, you're probably a little too far ahead of Hack and Slash games to be playing this one. I mean, this is a slower down version of Ninja Gaiden and Devil May Cry. So, you, you probably wouldn't like it that much. But if you're definitely a person who's played Devil May Cry, this is probably something you can try out too. At least, I recommend this game to a lot of people, but not a lot of people like this game anyway. I don't know why. They just think it's overrated and stuff. Well, after, you know, God of War Ascension, I can understand that. Oh, don't get me wrong. I like God of War Ascension. I really do. I think it's one of the coolest ones there is. Probably one of my second favorites. Is that bad to say? Yes, because... I guess so. But this is my first favorite. 
because it's the first one. No, but the the others after this, I just felt like they started drifting off and crap. Then you had the PSP ones, which uh, Chain to Olympus. Ooh, that's that's a definitely a good game right there. And then you also happen to have uh, Ghost of Sparta. Oh lord, I hate that game. I really don't like that one. I know who you are, Spartan. I know what you've done. I would rather die than be saved by you. Fine, that's your choice, dude. You, the ghost of Sparta, stay away. Stay you know what's funny is I always try to chase him down before he got in there. Oh, right here. These are red orb chests. Red orb chests obviously spawn red orbs. So yeah, you're gonna hear me tell you a lot of things like this. So be wary of this. If you've never played God of War, you're definitely missing out on something. All right, here we go. We have a new enemy. These are harpies. What you do is you press circle on them and you'll break off their wings, but you get no orbs for it, though, too. Same thing with undead soldiers. When you press circle and then press triangle while you have them in a grab move, you get no orbs. I don't know why this game does that. I don't know why they thought of that idea. It just it's, it's just there, so I guess we'll just leave it there. Also, we have to worry about humans, too. Humans are just going to be running around like nothing. You can either just press circle on them, kill them that way, or you can just basically well, slash them up if you wish. Also, we do have a combo uh, a combo bar. This is definitely different than uh, Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry, for anybody who didn't know, did come out before this game. And God of War was inspired a little bit by Devil May Cry, if you couldn't tell already. And one thing for sure is Devil May Cry is a stylish game. This game is not a stylish game. This game is a, a combo-heavy hack-and-slash game, you know what I'm saying? Where you want to get all the experience that you can and stuff like that. One way to do it is to grind it for combos. Every 10 combo, you get a plus 2 orb. Uh, whenever you hit 10 combo, you get plus 2 orbs. Then you hit 20, it's 4. And it goes up by 2, up until you get 100. After 100, it goes up by 10, I believe. Once you get to like the 200s and stuff like that. So, enough talk about how the game really works. Let's just get right back into the action, shall we? This is the easiest well probably not one of the easiest gutter wars probably one of the harder gutter wars on god mode when you get to the final boss in my opinion so far probably the hardest final boss god mode wise i've ever fought zeus uh, stuff like that there ain't nothing compared to the final boss of this one i'm not gonna spoil it because i don't really feel like it and i already spoiled the boss for like the other ones but who really cares right yeah but then again, this one has like the easiest levels to go through. Just the final, you know, the final act, I guess you could say. The final level when you get there. It's, it, it can be tough sometimes. Oh boy, the button mashing. That's probably the one thing that turns off a lot of people about God of War, is the quick time events and the button mashing. And obviously, the button mashing I can see. Quick time events, eh, they're not too bad. There is one game I don't like, and that's called Heavy Rain, and that's just filled with free time events. And I know what y'all are probably thinking, Heavy Rain's a good game, it's really super good and stuff. You know, you should totally play it, just like Beyond Two Souls. Well, guess what, I don't like pushing buttons while playing a game, okay? Alright, that's what we play every game for, I push buttons. <laughs> oh well. But yeah, I've played this game like over a thousand times now, so I should know where everything's at. If I miss something, well, oh well. Then I will explain that I missed something. Here we have the launch ability. If you hold it down after you launch, you can still launch in the air. Really nice to have. My favorite grab move is clearly the circle square move right here. Definitely one of my favorites. Uh, the circle one, eh, that's okay. I mean, yeah, that's all right. There's no to it, I guess. Let's keep doing this to this guy, and there you go. Don't forget, we can also evade as well with just a right stick. This game has no camera control. It's just, it's basically a fixed camera, and that's how it works on which is nice. It actually worked. I mean, Down Cry also had a fixed camera angle, too. Especially, Forward probably had the best one uh, for camera-wise, I'm just saying. At least I felt like it did. The first and, like, the, the second one, I, I just don't know third one did have a pretty good camera too. They, they really worked out the cameras in those games. Which is something that's good about fixed cameras is the developers really put a lot of effort into them. And, well, some developers I guess you could say put a lot of effort into them! 
Except for Capcom. I'm just kidding, because you know Capcom made I'm gonna cry, so that'd be kinda silly to say it like that. It's, it's you! The visions, they were real! The gods came to me, told me their champion would come and rescue us from the Hydra. But you're too late! We're pinned down! These creatures, they came from nowhere. The ships are all destroyed. All hope is lost, Spartan. Even for you... Alright, there you go. Supposedly, to a lot of people, that's Nolan North, but I, I don't really see it. Step into the glowing light and press R2 to act to sa oh, activate to save the game. So yeah, this is the save feature. There's no auto-saving games. There's no auto-saving in this game? What? This is totally not a next-gen console game. No, it's not. Now, shut the hell up. Um, I'm actually not playing this on the PS2, by the way. I'm actually playing this... Well, there's a reason for that. One, my copy on the PS2 broke. Yeah, it freezes a lot. It was awful. Pretty bad. Um, then you also have... Then we bought the collection later after. We did buy the Origins collection. We bought the collection, just, you know, kind of have on the PS3 when I was coming around. I mean, I paid for half of it, but the other half was paid for my parents paid for it when I was coming around. So. And then I later bought the Saga, and I'm playing the Saga version right now. So I don't know if I'm going to call this Let's Play Saga, or I'm going to call it the HD Collection, because this is not the HD Collection, this is God of War Sagas, which includes God of War 3, God of War Origins, Gotta wear one and two, which basically is just a collection itself. So, so, I might just not call it anything. I might just stick with the fact of just calling it, you know, God of War. Why not? But if I said that, then people would be like, oh, you're playing the PS2 version? No, I'm sorry, I'm not. I mean, there's trophies, obviously, but I'm not playing the PS2 version. I'm really sorry. By the way, the collection for the saga, don't worry, it actually is just a legit version of, um, you know. It's just the actual version of uh, the collection. So if you bought the saga, if you're buying the saga because you just want all all the games and you already have like the collections and God of War 3, then you're not really missing on anything. You're basically going to get the same trophies. It's not it's not like Ninja Gaiden 3 syndrome where they make a whole completely different trophy set for whatever reason. I don't know why. Even though they're the same trophies, somehow it's the same. It's, it's just a different thing. Like I said, right here, you want to grind up as on as many orbs as you can. Try not to waste enemies, especially on the harder difficulties in this game, because they will rip you in half. Got no upgrades. Now, it will look as if I didn't get everything by the final time, but trust me, I'll have everything. I'm sure I will. If I don't, well, what was that then? A good way to get rid of these turds just to throw them off. There you go. But if you're too far up, you can't actually collect the orbs when they're down there. So make sure that you slam their heads right here and you can grab a few orbs. And knock a few other guys off too at the same time. This is definitely helpful. Definitely helpful. Now I would have talked about something else, but I'm pretty sure you guys don't really care. Nah, who cares? You want to know my story about God of War? Alright, let's get right on into it. So, you know, let's, let's talk about the God Mode story. Let's just get that one over. Well, actually, let's get the first story. I, uh, my uncle showed us this game. And we got it that way, I guess you could say. But other than that, God Mode, I have beaten it. I've beaten all of them except for Ghost of Sparta and Ascension as of right now. Uh, yeah, I try hard, right? And now on this PS3, I have to go back and play it again. Trust me, God Modes are nothing. I mean, once you know the patterns and where you know to, and once you know where to go and all that stuff, you're fine. There's no deal with that. Oh, real quick, right here we have the Gorgon Eye. If you collect five of them, you can increase your overall health. So, or six of them, I mean. uh, But yeah, back to that story, which I'm going to have to cut in a minute anyway. Um, yeah, I'll just tell you after this part real quick. I'll talk to you guys about that in a minute. Once all this stuff goes away. We'll talk about, like, God Mode and what I'm doing with it now. So, yeah. Lord Poseidon, Kratos, before you reach Athens, there is a task you must complete. This beast, this Hydra, 
It has terrorized my seas for far too long. Your skills are admirable, but you will need assistance. You will need the power of the gods. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. All right. So here we have Poseidon's Rage. With the gods, Kratos. Go forth in the name of Olympus. Select Poseidon's Rage by pressing the right directional button, L2 to activate the attack. This is how you activate magic attack. 1.21 gigawatts. Which I don't know if that's a lot or not. I'm not really good on the... That stuff. Yeah. Well, here we have a hunter combo. Remember what I was talking about earlier about the hunter combo? There you go. Rip! Hitman. Okay, so. When I first played God of War, uh, you know, I liked it so much. I wanted to go play God Mode and get everything out of it and stuff like that. Once you beat God Mode, you actually do unlock all the, uh, the stuff, but I don't think we can technically show you that now, considering the fact that the game is technically broken. I got it to Ares, right? You know, and stuff like that. Oop. Boy, that already. Wow, that's good. <laughs> Who cares? You guys already know it. This game's like freaking. I don't know. Ten so years old ish. Close enough. Nine years old at least. Uh, I forgot there's another cutscene coming up. So I guess I have to talk to you about that in a minute. Get them away from the Why won't they die? It's the giant one! He keeps healing the others! Okay, big mama badass thinks she's up tough over here. Now let's get back into the story here. So I got to the final boss, which has three phases, by the way. And I had beaten the second phase, and I'm like, oh man, finally! You know, that's the hardest phase there is, is the second phase of the boss. After beating it and getting to the third part, the, first, the third phase, the game freezes. And I was upset. And it took me a long time to get back into that game and try to go back and beat it again. Then, we, uh, I haven't beat the collections God Mode yet, as you guys can probably tell easily, but I've also been recently doing a God of War No Upgrade Run Plus, is what they call it. Basically, you can't upgrade nothing on God Mode. Nothing at all. No health, no magic, no nothing. You can't have any, well, you can have a orb, but it, it, it's just fun for me. I've gotten probably over halfway through the game now. I'm still working on it. I probably will never record something like that. Considering how devilishly hard it is, but I mean, really, any wars are just—they—they're they, pretty easy. I mean, they help you learn things too that you wouldn't normally get down in your head. I guess you could say. Sorry, I'm being so fast with this game. I just, like I said, I played it so much. I've learned a few tricks here and there. Nothing really super important. Alrighty. Also, I want to let you guys know real quick. There, I might have to censor out something like I don't know why it would have to. I mean, it's just... Ah, who cares? I'm a man about it. I don't care enough. Boom! Both baby hydrants are dead. Okay, they're not dead. But they're close to being dead. You actually can't kill them. Because if the mama hydra's alive, you can't kill them. Also, right here, when she's blowing out of her breath, if you don't want to fall off the thing so much, just block. That easy. Yep. And when she's doing this, time it just right, and Poseidon's rage. Then she'll, she'll be stunned, which gives you an advantage to do the... I think it's the Olympian. I'll have to look that up. Actually, I'll look at that up right now. Oh yeah, we can upgrade, but not right now. Here's our move set. When you go to the pause menu, which is hit start. I'll show you guys that in a minute. You can do Icarus Lift, Hold Ascension, Art, Tap Circle, Hades Reverse, Tap L1. The yeah, Plummet Prometheus is Square Square Triangle. That's the one move you want to... That's probably what it is, but it's probably just a Prometheus, just fully active. I never actually really got that name down. 
You want to be very careful on that part because she can still actually hit you right there. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Be a little nicer to me once in a while. She will go ahead and growl at you or whatever, roar at you again, so... Really, this is probably the easiest boss in the Gutter War series right here. I, mean, I don't see how anybody can actually get hit by this boss. I mean, I did get hit, but... I don't see how many can actually die on this boss, even on God Mode. She's nothing. She really is nothing. I mean, seriously. Just look at me kicking her ass right now. I mean, I've never played this game before in my life. Not ever. Once. And also, you're gonna hear my controllers. Or my controller clacking in general. So, just keep that alarm. Good thing about this game is it's a PS2 game, so that means I don't have to use a stupid 6-axis controllers. If anybody was there for my Uncharted Let's Play, I thank you for coming around for this one. Hold on. Got to readjust my thumb here. Losing my index. That ain't gonna work. Yeah, I thank you for coming around, so if you get that joke, you probably, well, probably watched it. Yeah, she knocks you off. All you could really do is come back, you know, just climb right back on. It's nothing really too big with that. We should have enough orbs to you know, at least upgrade by now. I would at least thought. Oh, let me check real quick. Something's not right here. No, we don't. I, oh, I don't know. I would have figured by now we would. Well, I'm not a combo horror, I guess you could say. All right, now keep bashing on her face, and then eventually. Let's just try to get that extra two orbs, so why not, right? Why the hell not, right? Let's get that extra extra two orbs. Circle. Bing! See? I know. I know these quick time events by heart. It's ridiculous. Even like God of War 2. Although, I, it's been a while since I played God of War 2 to actually remember everything about it, but... Buddy. Alright guys, so we defeated the Hydra boss. Now we need to go insert ourselves inside of her body. Thank you! Thank the gods you came back for me! I didn't come back for you. Alright, so here we have the key of the captain. But anyway guys, this has been quite an episode. Pretty good introduction. Definitely uh, a decent one, that's for sure. We took out the big mama Hydra boss. And other than that, we just gotta go up there, slide down that rope, and the rest is easy. So until then, I'll see you all next time. So take care, everybody.